assalamu alaikum hi guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to be doing another collaboration and it's a collaboration with uh, shuna's kitchen first of all i'm so humbled to be doing this collaboration and i'm so so excited so on my channel you're going to be watching me prepare mutton biryani on shuna's kitchen it's going to be zurbean rice i'll leave that on the screen and i'll also leave her link on my description box please make sure you check it out so guys straight to our ingredients you're going to need meat any meat of your choice and make sure when you're making biryani the meat you're going to cut them into bigger sizes not like the ones for curry they should be bigger portions then you're also going to need onions a good amount of onions because biryani is all about onions then potatoes according to you if you want a lot of potatoes it's okay but that's i'm going to be using about six or seven then over here i have blended tomatoes i have a uh, green bell pepper and i have some garlic cloves then on my spices i have mixed spices i have curry powder i have turmeric powder i have coriander powder and over here i have garlic and ginger i just crushed them together i also have tomato paste about two tablespoons two to three tablespoons and i also have uh, plain yogurt or fermented milk yeah so guys first i'm going to marinate my meat i'm going to put the garlic and ginger paste and i'm going to let it be all over the meat just make sure it gets to each and every part of your meat then next i'm going to add in all my spices all the spices that you will be using you add them inside your meat and then you're going to make sure that you mix really well just like i'm doing on the video also guys don't forget to check out my description box for the zurbian rice from shona's kitchen and over here guys i'm adding my fermented milk maziwa mala just like that i'm not going to use all of that and i'm going to mix gently together so guys the fermented milk or maziwa mala helps your meat to be tender when you're cooking it tenderizes your meat I'm going to leave this for an hour inside my fridge. Then guys, I'm going to add in orange food color. You can use the egg yellow one, but orange is better. And I'm going to put it inside my potatoes just for them to get that good color. But this process is not a must. It's optional. So guys, as my meat is marinating, I'm going to prepare the biryani rice first. Over there I have salt, I have uh, cinnamon sticks and I have bay leaves. I'm going to put it inside the rice water and I'm going to let them boil together. Then the next step guys you're going to add in your rice just as I'm doing. And I soaked my rice for about 30 minutes and that depends on the rice you're using. then guys it's at this point i'm going to add my oil and i used coconut oil i'm going to add in about two tablespoons of coconut oil you can use any oil i just like the taste then i'm going to cover my rice with a foil paper just like that and i'm going to put it on really low heat and let it now cook well Now guys on this step I'm going to be frying my potatoes 
and I'm going to fry them. I don't want them to cook completely. You just want them to be a bit crunchy. And over here they look done so I'm just going to take that off my oil and the next part I'm going to be frying my onions. Now guys, you want to fry your onions until they get that rich golden brown color, but don't let them be so dark because when you get the onions out of the oil, they get darker. So just when they are a bit golden brown, you remove them from your oil. So this is how they should be looking and they are ready for you to now remove them. Now guys, I marinated my meat for about one and a half hours but you can leave it overnight, it's much better. Now I'm going to put it inside my pan. I didn't add any oil, just like that. And we are going to let our meat cook for about 7 minutes. Now guys, back to our biryani rice. I want to see if it's ready. Now guys, this is the time you're going to remove the whole spices. I mean the bay leaves and the cinnamon sticks. We don't need them anymore. They were just for the good aroma of your rice. Now the next step, I'm going... Oops, I didn't close that properly. Sorry for the mess. The next step, I'm just going to add a little bit of food color inside a little bit of water, just as you're seeing. Then I'm going to put it inside my rice into like small portions, just like that. And then we are going to mix to get that biryani rice color, you know, the orange and the white. And we are done with our rice. Now let's go back to the biryani stew. Now over here guys, I'm going to add in my salt, about one tablespoon of salt. Salt is to your preference, you can add in if you want more, yeah. And we are going to cover it and let it simmer for about 3 minutes. Now guys, at this point you're going to add in your potatoes, the ones that we fried earlier. And over here, I'm going to add in my blended mixture, which I told you guys, it's about three tomatoes, one green bell pepper, and like three garlic cloves. And I'm going to mix them in together. And over here, I'm adding in my tomato paste, about two tablespoons of tomato paste, just to thicken your curry.
then guys we are going to cover this for about three to four minutes before we continue with our next step and this is how our curry is looking at the moment now the last step is to add in your fried onions on top just like that And guys our biryani is ready i hope you've enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't also like and leave me a comment i'll be grateful and this is how our biryani turned out it's really amazing and it's really tasty please try out my recipe and let me know how it will turn out you can follow me on my instagram page that's cook with rania on instagram thank you thank you so much for watching bye Yeah.